I'm going to show you how to deliver your first Uber Eats order. I'm going to show you the Uber driver app on your screen so you can follow along and see exactly what I'm doing. So the first thing you want to do is go online on the Uber driver app. I recommend finding a cluster of restaurants. So we've got KFC here. We've got McDonald's just over there. And you want to be as close as possible to the restaurant because there's a higher chance you're going to get an order. So we just got an Uber Eats order from KFC here. I was right next to the restaurant, so I'm not surprised I got this order. If you're inside the restaurant, you've got your Uber Eats order, you head over to the counter, you need to get someone's attention. Once you got their attention, you either let them know the name on the order or the code. So in this case, it's David or it's 4593C. I have got David D 4593C. Two seconds. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that, is that drink there? Yeah. Okay. So we've collected that order and we just want to press start delivery. Then it'll bring up the customer's address. Pull up Google Maps. I'm using bike mode. And this customer is 10 minutes away, 1.9 miles. So sometimes you get drivers like that, you have to maintain your calm, there's no point wasting your energy getting annoyed at them. She was obviously very sorry that she pulled out like that, but we carry on. So when I receive the order, you can actually see how much you're going to get paid on the order, the address, roughly how long it's going to take. There's three icons that you need to pay attention to. There's the pin icon, which is your location a building icon which is the restaurant's location and a kind of person icon that is the customer's location so when i'm close to the customer i like to check if there's any customer notes on the order so i switch over to the uber driver app and i check if there's any notes there are no notes on this delivery it says leave at door but that is just a default setting most people come to the door to collect the order at this point, it's easier to use the Uber driver app to find the customer's location. Google Maps isn't as accurate. The Uber driver app is a little bit more accurate in terms of the pin location of the house. Hi, is it David? It is, David. Yeah, it is, uh, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. How, how are you doing? It's uh, nice and sunny today, so... Yeah. It's kind of strange how we haven't got any snow or anything over here. <laughs> yeah. Looking online, everywhere seems to be snow. Have a great day. Cheers. So I like having a little bit of small talk with the customer. It's just a nice way to greet them and provide customer service. And it does help with getting tips. So we made £3.92 on that delivery. We can actually go into the earnings tab on the Uber driver app. We can see how much we made on that day. We can see how much we made on any day of the week how long we've been online for. You do get paid weekly on Uber Eats. They pay you every Monday, I think it is. You can cash out. It is a 50p like charge to instant cash out. There is something called the Opportunities tab on the Uber Driver app. This allows you to see what boosts are available in your area at different times of the day, different days of the week. You can even see areas close to you if there's any good boosts. These are actually really useful because essentially you're gonna get paid more per order when there are higher boosts. So you're gonna be wanting to work at the best times of the day, typically lunch and dinner time. Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the best days of the week to work. There's a really useful tool on the Uber Eats driver app called the Earnings Forecast. This is gonna help you to figure out when's the best time to deliver. What this also allows you to do is see the areas close by. So you might not have much demand in the area you live in, but in close cities or towns near you, you can actually see if it's worth delivering there. One thing I need to make you guys aware of is that you won't get too much support from Uber Eats when it comes to doing your deliveries. I hardly have to contact them because I usually don't have a problem. But if you do have a problem, it will be a pain because one time I had an issue and I had to go through their support system. I raised a ticket and I had to get through quite a few people or let's say robots because one time they actually called me Sophie. So yeah, don't expect too much from the support side of things. But on the Uber driver app, you can actually see your own profile. So if I click my name, Jayesh, you can see how many deliveries you've done. You've, I've done over a thousand deliveries at a 99% satisfaction rate and i put people are always happy to see me and their food so that's what your customer will actually see when they view your profile 
So when creating your message, why I deliver, it's worth spending some time thinking about that message because all the customers that you deliver for are going to see that message. And so it's worth putting something in there that's going to get their attention, that's going to build some kind of rapport. And what I mean by that is that when they see this message, they're going to expect a certain type of individual to turn up to their door. So if you put something in there that's lighthearted, fun, and uh, shows that you're not just a random person, but you're someone, you know, a human being. So at this point in the video, you're probably thinking, how do I sign up, Jay? Where do I go to sign up? I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can just click that, go straight over to the Uber website. We're here on the uber.com website, looking for courier jobs in the United Kingdom. Uh, be a courier using Uber. Okay, this is not important. This is stuff I've already covered, really. How to get started as a courier. So you need to sign up. There's three vehicle choices, bicycle, motorbike, or scooter, and car. There's no electric bike option like on Deliveroo, just a bicycle. Um, and then submit your documents, pretty straightforward. That sometimes, I remember when I signed up, I had to submit it a few times because you have to get it like in the lines. You probably know what I'm talking about. And then complete a background check. Now guys, be really careful when you enter the details for your background check. You need to double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it because uh, if you make a mistake it can be a real pain to get that fixed it, it, i know some people who just don't bother applying to uber because they just get caught up in the background check and i think it's with sterling and they have lots of issues and the thing to pay attention to is the date of birth it's the american format i think which is month first days uh, second and then your years third whereas in the uk i think in europe as well it's days month and then year but it's the other way around so just be careful with that guys um and then you can deliver by car motorbike bicycle we're gonna for the purposes of this video and our fact that i use a bike and most people who sign up for this do use a bike i think um you need to be at least 18 years old so some people want to do it younger it's because you were delivering alcohol sometimes so uh they just set it as 18. um make sure to choose bicycle under your transportation method pretty straightforward then you just need a photo id and a bank statement so pretty straightforward like things that i'd recommend essentials is you need your bike you need a phone mount a power bank and your backpack um and that's pretty much it there are obviously a lot of things if you go over to my description go to my amazon store you'll see a bunch of things which i recommend um and then you need to get the driver app so you can actually download this on your uh, phone and i'll show you a little clip i'll stick it up on here but you need to search uber eats driver app download it and then when you basically send all these documents over and it gets all approved, then you'll be able to log into the Uber driver app. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'm gonna put some other videos where I've delivered Uber Eats so you can see some more real life kind of interactions of how I deliver for Uber Eats. I'll put them onto your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.